But now we're looking at effective questioning for coaches. So effective questions are worded so that the person answering only needs to work on forming the response rather than understanding of the question. So effective questions also have a clear sense of purpose. It's really important that the questions are really clear sense of purpose. For example, either to gather information, see something from another perspective, or create a sense of the future. Some useful examples of coaching questions follow, which I'll go through in, in detail shortly. And note they are open in intention, not restricted by an anticipated answer. So effective questions and coaching examples. So questions with a clear sense of purpose. So the purpose is to gather general information. So the coach could say, to, to gather general information, the coach could say, can you say more about that? To gather specific information, the coach could say specifically, what is it that you're unhappy about? Can you tell me more about what actually happened? Help someone remember clearly? Coach will say, well, what else could you remember? To refocus someone on what's important to them. For example, to keep them calm or on track. The coach will say, okay, what's really important about all this? What seems to be the most important thing for us to focus on now? Understand someone else's values. What is important to you about that? Why is it important to you? Help someone appreciate another person's perspective. What might Jody's reasons behind asking uh, for this? What's important to Jody? If we had Jody here, how would she describe the situation? Get someone to link uh, two force of situations together. How do your work pressures relate to what you said about developing uh, the team more? Help someone come to a conclusion. What are your thoughts about this now? What is the conclusion you're drawing uh, from this now? To produce ideas uh, without a sense of pressure. Like what options are there? What options are available to you? What things might you do? What ideas are you having? To influence someone to decide, the coach might say, what options do you prefer? What have you decided to do? To influence someone to action, what could you do about that right now? To prepare, some, prepare someone to overcome barriers to taking action, the coach might say, well, what might stop you from doing that? And a follow-up might be, so how will you overcome that? So here we're going to sort of focus on questions with open intention. These are strategized questions. For example, couldn't you speak um, to your boss about this? Questions with a more open intention could be, what support do you need with this? A strategized question could be, the coach might say, have you considered putting a plan together to make everyone agree to the dates? A question from my open intention would be, how can you get everyone to agree to the dates? Um, strategized question, how angry are you about all this? Uh, question from my open intention, how are you feeling about this? What could HR, what could your HR representative do to help you? Strategized question, more open question, who else might help? But even more open, what are you thinking of doing? A strategized question, didn't you say that Dave or John doesn't actually want to be involved anyway? Well, how would Dave um, or John feel about that? Okay, so um, some powerful questions. Uh, and these powerful questions acknowledge the issue or challenges, assume that a positive outcome is possible, uh, is open, what, how, when, who, why, and pro, uh, provokes a creative response. So for example, um, the statement or issue of complaint might be it's hopeless, we're never gonna get it done by Friday because we already got so much to do, so much work in the queue. A powerful question might be, the coach might say, how can we get it done by Friday and still deal with the other work in the queue? The statement of issue of complaint could be, we'd love to have a staff summer party again, but the money needs to go on training this year. How can we find money for a summer party and still afford the training could be a powerful question the coach asks. Um, the statement or the issue could be, we really need to do some collaboration, but people's roles are going to change and we don't yet know um, what that's going to mean. Uh, a powerful question might be, 
how can we do some team building and still support the new roles in the future? So the next exercise we can do shortly, guys, is to, um, to, to write, one, write one of your own examples for each type of question that would satisfy coaching and mentoring approach. Um, and in groups, um, run three examples past each other. So write one of your own examples for each type of question that we've spoke about uh, that would satisfy coaching and mentoring approach. And in our groups, run your three examples past each other.